Hello, I'm Jeff Taylor with Engineering to Excel, and today we are going to be building a water bottle rocket. I hope you've tuned into the first two parts where we built the launcher. For this third part, we're going to be building the rocket itself. In order to build your 2-liter bottle rocket, you're obviously going to need a 2-liter bottle of your favorite soda. We're going to need a foam football for the nose cone, and some foam core to make the fins. Some of the tools we're going to need are a scrap piece of wood and a screw in order to build our assembly stand, a razor knife, a sharpie marker or some other type of permanent marker, a pencil, a carpenter square, a drill with a uh, screw bit in it, as well as a hot glue gun. And with these tools, we're gonna go ahead and build our water bottle rocket. So first, we're gonna start by building our assembly stand. We're going to take the cap off of our 2-liter bottle, set the 2-liter bottle aside for now. We're going to take our screw and our drill and attach our cap to our block of wood. Let's go ahead and do that now and we'll move on. So now that we've attached our bottle cap to our piece of spare wood, we're going to remove the cap and use that location to mark how we're going to attach our fins. So for that, I want my carpenter square. I'm gonna press it against the edge here, so I'm nice and straight. Use my pencil to draw that line. I'm then going to use that line to form a 90 degree angle. Got that all the way down through. And then we're going to use our carpenter square to mark our 30 degrees from there, from that square line. On our carpenter square, we've got a few different markings here, as well as our pivot point. What we're going to do is we're going to line our pivot point up with our hole, and then I'm going to turn my carpenter square until the 30 degree angle line is lined up with that straight line that we've made. From there, I'll be able to mark my angle. That will be our 120 degree angle line. I'm then going to flip this over and repeat the process. Get this lined up. And that should get us at our 120 degree angles. So we have our 90 degrees here, plus 30 is 120 degrees, and our angle from here over is another 120 degrees. So we'll use that to go ahead and reattach our bottle cap at our hole location. And now we have the angle for our fins. So now we're going to go ahead and cut our football in half to be used as the nose cone. Normally when you're building a rocket, you obviously want it to be as light as possible, but we're going to put a heavy nose cone on the front to move the center of gravity forward. So here I have my carpenter square. I'm going to use that as a guide to make sure I cut nice and square and straight all the way through my football. So I'm just going to do my very best to make sure this is nice and straight. I'm going to take my Sharpie marker here, trace a line here. And I'm going to rotate it, keeping that line nice and straight with the other line going up. Rotate nice and straight and go up. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. And we'll see how close we end up on the other side. We will then use that as a guide to make a cut with our razor knife. It looks like we drifted a little bit, but you know what? We'll be all right. That'll be close enough. So I'm going to come in here now. Set our carpenter square to the side, get our knife out, and we're just going to go ahead and make a cut. We're going to cut all the way through our football. You can use a saw for this too. Uh, this works for me. I didn't have a, a, a saw exactly handy at the moment. Set half of it to the side. You may need to clean up any edges if you'd like. And with that, we have our Nose cone. So you can see we've got our two liter bottle on our assembly stand here. 
I have the one half of our football, which if you notice is much, much too large. And so what I have done is I have cut it down to the size that is much more appropriate. So we can get rid of that other part. This should be much closer to halfway through there. I'm gonna add some duct tape so that we can go ahead and attach our nose cone to our two liter bottle. We're gonna do vertical stripes to try to make it as streamlined as possible. Do our best to keep our rocket nice and straight. I'm just gonna do this all the way around our rocket. And we're going to go ahead and transfer those lines that we made earlier that are at 120 degree angles to our rocket so we know where to attach our fins. So it's very important at this point in the, in the process to not turn your rocket to make sure that everything is where it needs to be. So I'm using once again my carpenter square to line up my angle with my black line that I've put on here. And I'm gonna hold my rocket still and transfer this line to the rocket. I'm going to do this for all three of our marks. And with that measurement, or with those markings on our rocket, we are now ready to move on to our fin design. So now it's time to design and attach our fins to our rocket. Now fins are extremely important for the stability of a rocket because they generate lift as well as move the center of pressure of our rocket towards the aft end or the back side of a rocket. For a rocket to be stable, you need your center of gravity to be above the center of pressure. We're going to stick to a very simple shape to make out of foam core. It's called a clipped delta shape. First, we're going to measure on our rocket how high off the ground we want to attach the fins. Now, we're just going to approximate it, attach these fins in such a way that we have about two inches of hot glue on it, and they're going to stick down about a total of four inches. So what I'm going to do with my carpenter square once again. I'm going to measure that four inch mark then make sure I'm right on this edge over here and put my three inch line here and make sure I'm nice and square with that three inch line. And I'm just going to draw a reference line. From that reference line I will now be able to draw a line using my carpenter square. I'm just going to use a 45 degree angle. I'm going to go from my four inch line down to my three inch line, and there's our clipped delta shape. So now we need to repeat that shape. So I'm gonna come over here to the side just a little bit, make sure I've got a bit of foam core in between so that I, my first cut doesn't affect my second cut. I'm gonna draw a line all the way up to that four inch mark, leave my square where it is, come to the three inch mark, draw a line, come over to my three inch line mark, draw my reference line, Go back over until I am at that four inch mark again and trace my 45 degree angle down. And then a third time, come over a little bit, trace a line, four inch mark, line here three inches, come over to draw my reference line, and go back over and trace my four inch down to my three inch line at a 45 degree angle. So as you can see, I now have three clipped delta fins that I'm now going to cut out with my X-Acto knife and then we're going to attach it with our hot glue gun. We've already marked our lines in the past. I've just put this line here to make sure we're all mounted at the same height. I've got my line here, line there. And what I'm going to do is using my carpenter square to help me get them nice and straight up and down, I'm going to put some glue on this end here of my fin. and I'm going to just press it gently on here using my, yep, there we go, using my carpenter square to make sure it's nice and straight. I'll give that some time to cool. And once that's nice and cool, what we'll do is we'll just rotate this around 
to do our next one. Then a little bit of time to cool down. And with that, our fins are on. So now that our rocket is fully assembled, we're going to go ahead and find out where our center of gravity is and make sure that our center of pressure is where it needs to be, which is aft of the rocket. So as you can see, with my string tied on, I found my center of gravity, where without touching it, it's nice and pretty close to horizontal, so I might be off by a few millimeters, but that's okay. Now it's time for the pre-flight check, which will be spinning it around my head really quickly. For this, I'm going to get some helpers to help me out. So now that we've done our pre-flight launch checks, We've made sure everything is stable. We come up to the launch pad, which you can see in our other YouTube videos of how to make. Attach our rocket. I'm gonna go ahead and pump it up. I'm not gonna go over 60 PSI, that's very important. My pump here has a little gauge. I'm not gonna go above 60 PSI. And now that we're there, we'll have a countdown to launch. In 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, nine, 4, nine. Three, two, one, launch. Uh-oh, launch. Oh! Oh! Holy smokes! We had a successful launch. Um, it ended up about six neighbors' houses that way. So we're gonna go retrieve it, and we'll be back. So we had an excellent launch in the backyard, so much so that we decided we should probably get a little more room for you to see what actually happens on a launch. So check this out. Some damage on landing. Well, that was a very successful flight. Hope you enjoyed it. We had a very successful launch today. I hope that you have as much success with your rocket build as we did with ours. We're going to go ahead and uh, sign out now. Make sure to like and subscribe and tune in for more videos so that you can engineer to excel. Thanks. See you later.